to Amazing Trails Yoga, Halloween Witch Yoga. Today we are in Salem, Massachusetts, the home of the infamous witch trials. Everybody was in the frenzy, it was mass hysteria to get these witches out of the way and not a very pretty time in history, but it's wonderful coming here, it's beautiful. We are creating our own trails all around Salem, looking at the sites. And today, right now, we are at Winter Island State Park. And this looks pretty witchy to me. You will need your broomstick and perhaps some blocks. And you might invite your kids to join because I think this one's a lot of fun, provided they don't hit each other with the brooms. So we will, also, oh, also before we start in pranayama, we will be focusing on lizard pose as well as spider pose and floating table and a lot of just fun Halloween poses for you. So we will begin in standing position with your broomstick. I'll go to the side so you can see what I'm doing. We'll start with pranayama. We will inhale very deeply. With our hands on the broomstick, we will exhale down. The broomstick comes down as far down to our legs as we can, dropping the crown of your head toward the mat. We will inhale, exhale, inhale your way back up, and exhale down. Staying down, we'll inhale and exhale. Inhale your way up. Exhale your way down. Take a nice inhale. Exhale. Inhale. your way back up. Very nice. With your hands on your broomstick, your knuckles are facing the front of the mat. We'll inhale our broomsticks up. Exhale down. Getting ready to fly those broomsticks. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Inhale up, exhale down. Now we'll bend our arms at the elbows, inhaling up as if this were a barbell. Exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Heel toe one, heel out one set of toes out. Very good. We'll go lift our brooms to a diagonal at the right, bending a little bit at the knees and left. Up and down. We're diagonal. Up and down. Now we're going to come up and all the way around up and around keeping our elbows pretty straight with our arms up and around when it's at your lower right we'll go diagonally up to the left and down up to the left and down up to the left and down now we're coming up to the left and all the way around. Up to the left, all the way around. Up to the left and all the way around. Very nice. Heel towing our foot back so that our feet are directly under our hips. Our knuckles are facing the front of the mat. Our palms to the back holding onto our broomsticks. Going to inhale up and bending at the knee exhale sweep your mat or your broom to the right inhale up to the left on the exhale up and to the right up and to the left up and 
this time look over your right. Up and look over your left. Very nice. Up and then we'll bring your broom down. You're coming down with the broom as we did earlier. And you're bending your legs at the knee, bringing your seat to the mat, and we'll fishtail around to tabletop. And we're in tabletop, we're over the our toes, and our knees are directly under our shoulders. If you could look through your thighs, you shouldn't be able to see your feet. We're going to come to the tops of our feet, we're in table. Take a nice inhale, exhale into cat, draw your shoulders up toward the sky, look down at your abdomen, inhale just into table, I want to keep cow out of this one, exhale into cat, inhale into table, Exhale to cat. Now back into table, you're going to curl under your toes. Lift your knees up. We're coming into a floating table. So your knees are up. You're going to take your right leg under your left arm. Your, le your left heel comes to the mat and you're bringing your left arm up to the sky floating table we'll do it on the other side come back into table with your knees up your left leg goes under your arm your right arm is up back into table other side make sure you drop your heel of your left foot your left arm is up your right leg is out and table on the other side this is fun. I think the kids would like it. And the grown-ups. Makes you feel like a kid. We're all kids at heart. And back and one more time. Very nice. We're in a table with our knees up. You're straightening your legs. Coming into Adho Mukha Svanasana Downward Facing Dog. Take a nice breath and exhale. Inhale your right leg up into three-legged dog. Bend your leg at the knee. Bring your heel a little bit to the left. Look under your right arm. Opening up the hip. Now we'll square off the hips so that they are perpendicular to the side of the mat. We're making some nice hip circles going around with our bent leg. Going around one direction, maybe three or four times. And then the other direction. Now you can straighten your right leg. Inhale your knee to your nose, to your right elbow, and place your foot on the pinky side of your right hand. We're coming into lizard. You might want to walk your back leg further back, coming into lizard. You could always take your blocks on either side of your foot to bring the ground closer to you at any level. And we're just moving around in lizard. And lizard calms your mind, controls stress, reduces extra belly fat, and it tones the shoulders. It's really good for athletes, really good opener. I'm going to take my right arm and go down on my forearm. We're on the inside, the big toe side of your right foot. You could just move, you don't have to do this. This just extends the stretch. I'm coming up with both hands on either side of your foot. I'm going to bring the blocks 
close to me and put my hands on the block because we're going to take our left foot, draw it under ourselves and come into a semi seat, kind of like a squat, no particular name for this, and come down onto your seat. Very good. You're doing really great. It just so happens that my broom is right under my left leg, which works out great because you're going to take your broom and put it under your left leg. We're going to bring our left leg up as we extend our right foot forward slowly. You could use a broom to help you. Come down onto your back using the broom to help you. And our leg is up toward the sky. You're going to bring your arms with the broom up toward your foot, your ankle, your calf, wherever you can reach. And lower your arms and leg at the same time. Inhale them up. You're giving your back of your leg a bit of a massage. Exhale down. Very nice. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Take your broom to the side. You could bend your left leg. Wrap your arms behind your knee. And you could bring yourselves up. Oh, there goes my hat. I'll play without my hat for a little while. So you brought yourselves up, which is easy because you're holding on to the back of your leg and you're putting the, your left foot flat on the mat and we're leaning forward, bringing our right leg back into a standing split. And don't let the word split scare you. You could have your hands on the blocks or the mat. You don't have to come all the way up into a split. A right angle to the mat is perfectly fine. You're dropping your right leg and your left leg comes back to meet a downward dog. Take a couple nice breaths. I'm going to try my hat again. A lot of upside down positions, a little windy today. We're right by the water, right by Salem Channel, I believe. It's really beautiful here. We wanted to go by the water. It was a little too windy, noisy to do this. So we are in downward dog and you are inhaling your left foot up to the sky, three-legged dog. Bend your left leg at the knee, bring your heel toward the right, look under your left arm, opening up the hip. Now we're squaring off the hip so that they're perpendicular to the mat. Your leg is still bent and we're making nice big circles, hip circles, opening up our hips. Very good. And the other way. Beautiful. Taking our left leg, bringing it back into three-legged dog. You are taking your left knee to your nose. Bring it back up. Left knee to your left elbow and place your foot on the pinky side of your hand. Very nice. And we are back in lizard and you can move around. Very lovely. Moving around. Maybe go in circles. You could use your blocks if you like to bring your the ground closer to you. And I'm taking my left arm, my forearm to the mat for a deeper stretch. And this improves hip flexibility. It strengthens your leg muscles, stretches your hip flexors, hamstrings, and your quadriceps. Really, really good for you. And you could come back on your arms. I would take a block on either side of my foot. 
with your hands on it because you are going to, this is kind of fun, a little challenging. Take your back leg up and through. Very good. And then you're sitting down on your mat. I'll get the blocks out of the way. Take your broom to the underside of your right leg. And we are coming back down onto our backs. You could straighten your left leg at the same time. Your right leg is up. You're holding the broom behind your right leg. And you bring your arms up, which makes the stretch a bit deeper. And then lowering them to the mat. Nice little massage on the back of your right leg. Very good. And down. Coming up. Maybe a little closer to you. Have some fun with this. And down. And up. And down. Now you're bending your right leg at the knee. You can put the Room to the side, take your hands, clasp under your knee, and this will help you. Maybe my hat won't come off this time. You could roll back up, very nice, and place your right foot on the mat. You could come forward, bend your left leg, and you're going to shoot it behind you into a standing split. You can always use the blocks. Standing split, you can go as high as you like, drop your head. Then you're bringing your left leg back. And we will bring the mat, the blocks forward. Your hands could be on the mat. Taking our right leg back into plank and dropping our knees. We're coming back into tabletop. These witches must have a trick with their hats. In tabletop, we are coming, curling over your toes, and your fingers are facing the side of the mat, and we're going back and forth, sitting back on our heels. We're giving our wrists a nice stretch back and forth, because we really need our hands and our wrists hanging on to those broomsticks when we soar in the sky Halloween nights. Back and forth, about two sets of three. Now take your hands so that your fingertips, your fingertips are spread, they face each other. We could go back and forth, don't put too much weight on it. Back and forth, very nice. Good, good, good. Just preparing our hands and our wrists. We also need to stir those concoctions in the cauldron. We need strong hands for that. Strong wrists. And now take your hands so that your fingertips are to the front and the back of the mat. They're spread and we're coming forward and sitting back on our heels. Do that at your own pace. Back and forth. And now back on our heels, we'll take our hands so that they are, our fingertips are facing us. And this might, you might not have as large an area to go back and forth with. This is really kind of tough. It's great for corporal tunnel really good for your wrist we don't do this enough very nice however way you can do this and sitting back on our heels in toes pose we'll stay in toes pose We're, our toes are curled under take your hands your palms together and we're going to just swerve them around, have them go forward, and then the tops of your hands together, 
palms together, swerve them around, the tops of your hands together, maybe I'll go this way. Just giving your wrists a little counteraction and maybe the other way around. Really fun. Very nice. Good, good, good. Very lovely. And grabbing your broomsticks. We're going to put not the bristle side down, the handle side maybe to help us up into standing position. And we just did this on the mat for practice. So we'll do this in a standing position using your broomstick as support. Take it in your right hand maybe a little further away from you. Lift your five toes on your right foot and maybe separate them so you get a nice foundation as you inhale your left knee up towards your chest. Very good. We're going to extend our right leg. You can hold your leg behind your knee, under your calf, or to the pinky side toe of your foot. And you're using the broomstick to hold, to hold you. Be a little support. You could extend it out to the left. Very good. Out in front. Maybe up a little bit higher. Bend your leg at the knee and down. We'll take the broomstick now in your left hand. Out to the side. Lift your five toes of your left foot. Separate them a bit and place them back down for a nice foundation. Inhale your right knee up towards your chest. Very good. Take your right hand under your knee, under your calf, or to the pinky side toe of your right foot. Extend your foot out. Take a nice breath. Opening it up to the side, to the right. Very lovely. Bring it back to the front of the mat, maybe a little higher. Bend your leg at the knee and down. Very good. Taking the broomstick, we're going to heel toe this time, both feet out, heel toe. So we're a little bit further, maybe heel toe again, whatever you like, but we are going to bend our legs this time as we swirl our broom around, getting ready to fly. So your hands your, are holding both ends of the broom and you're bending toward the right, swinging the broom back to the right and up. Bending toward the right and up. Bending toward the right and up and all the way around. Up and around. Up and around <laughs> and to the left we'll bring it up diagonally to the right we're bending at the knees and up bend at the knees and up very nice bending at the knees we're going to come up and all the way around up and all the way around i'll just keep my hat there up and all the way around. Very, very nice. Taking our feet closer together right under our hips. You are taking the broom again. Our knuckles facing the front of the mat. And we are taking a nice inhale. Exhale down as we did before. Inhale, coming up. On the exhale, take your right leg behind your left. Very good. Take a nice inhale and exhale down. And staying down, dropping the crown of our head toward the mat. I'll face this way so you can see what we're doing. Take a nice inhale, exhale, on the inhale we're coming back up, and exhale both feet together. 
take your left foot behind your right. Nice inhale, exhale, coming down. This is very good for your hamstrings. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And we'll inhale, coming up. And take your left foot to meet your right. Very nice. Now we're coming into pyramid pose. So take your right foot in front of your left. Your left not directly behind. It needs to come out a little bit more. You are taking the broom behind you, not at the nape of your neck, but by your shoulder. So you're kind of hanging on to it. Your right leg is in front. We are hinging at the hips, coming down. This could be as low as you want to go. If you want to drop your third eye towards your shin or your knee, very good. On the inhale, we're hinging at the hips, coming back up and bring your right foot to meet your left. Very lovely. Take your left foot out in front of you. Your right is not directly behind your left. It's a little bit over to the right. Again, this is the broomstick is not on the nape of your neck. It's on your shoulder. Taking a nice inhale. Hinging at the hips, coming down, down, down. And this can be a perfect pyramid for you. If you like, you could drop your third eye toward your knee, toward your shin, and breathe. <laughs> Hinging at the hips are coming up, up, up. And bring your left foot to meet your right, very nice. We'll bring our broom over. And we opened up our shoulders quite a bit. So you are taking, again, your knuckles are facing the front of the mat, your arms out pretty wide. It's a little different using a broom, it's stiff, rather than using the strap. And where did my hat go? There it is. I thought it blew away. And we are inhaling our arms up, over our heads. We're coming all the way around. You might want to extend your hands further and bring it back. A really great shoulder opener. Very good. You're bringing your arms up and around. I should do this every day. Again, adjust your hands where you like them to be. This is so good for your rotator cuffs. I know a lot of people end up having trouble with them. We'll do it one more time. You're inhaling up over up and down very nice we're dropping the broom we're going to practice riding so we are coming into a chair type kind of a variation of a chair but your feet and your knees should be about hip with not hip fist distance apart from each other and we are inhaling up into chair as we drop our seat. Now we're leaning forward so that your abs can rest nicely on your thighs. Very good. And we're extending our arms back. They should go pretty far back this time, pretty far up. Our palms are facing each other. Forward and back. Forward, back, and then on the forward, we'll come up and around. And I would like to have our palms meet at heart center, setting an intention. I know it's a little late in the practice, but I'm just oh, sending our love and energy out in the universe. All these people that get accused of witchcraft 
all these innocent people when everyone kind of just joined the bandwagon and um, pointed the finger at a type of person who was different. Maybe they collect, collected herbs, they grew herbs and used that as a type of medicine. I don't know, but sending our love and energy out to people who are being judged and treated differently because they're a little bit different. But aren't we all? Putting our hands back into Tadasana. We'll inhale up into chair. I'm going to do it sideways this time. And exhale back on the exhale. You're lifting your heels. Inhale forward. Your abdomen is on your thighs. You're really looking forward. And back, lifting your heels. They don't have to come up very high. Dropping your heels as you bring your hands to the front. Now your arms come back behind you as you lift your heels. And then dropping your heels will come all the way up and around. We'll do that one more time with a little more variation. We'll inhale our arms up, dropping our seat and leaning forward. This is kind of nice. We're letting our abs rest right on our thighs. Our arms are forward and we're bringing our arms back, lifting up your heels and then dropping your heels as your arms come forward. We're going to shoot through the sky. Bringing our arms back. Very good. Our palms are facing each other. Inhaling your arms forward. Oh, I forgot to drop our heels. Inhale your arms back. Now your heels should be up. And now we're coming up on top of our tippy toes all the way up. And down. Very, very nice. A little tough, but I find very much fun. We will find ourselves back in a downward dog. So any way you want to get there, you can come down. Your hands are on the mat. Step your feet back into downward dog. Take a nice breath. Very nice. Maybe another breath, a good resting position. Look between your hands. You're going to inhale your right foot up between your hands. Take your right hand to the big toe side of your right foot. And again, we are in lizard. To move around back to lizard, our main focus. Should feel really good by now. Now we're coming to, into spider. So you are lowering your left heel toward the mat, coming toward the front of the mat. You can maybe lift your toes up to the sky, put your hands in prayer. If this is hard, I know some of you can be up like that perfectly fine. If you want to rest on a block, that's fine too. You don't have to come all the way down. But this is spider pose. That's switches like spiders in our concoction, in our little stews. Taking our hands to the mat, we're bending both legs, coming over to the left, back into, I know it's really Dandasana, but on Halloween it's spider pose. Very nice. We'll walk our hands back back into the lizard. Take your right hand on the pinky toe, toe side of your foot. Bring your right leg back into plank. You will bend your left leg at the knee and bring it behind you as you lift your left arm up. Wild thing. Perfect for Halloween. You all become a little wild on Halloween. Lifting your pelvic toward the sky. And we'll come back into plank, dropping your left hand to the mat. Your left foot comes over your right. We are in plank position, very nice. And now we will take our left foot 
to the left side, to the pinky toe, pinky side of our left hand, back into lizard. You can always help it up there. But we're pretty warmed up by now. This is lizard on the other side. Very good. And I'm going to do it in a different perspective. I'll be facing the back so you can see what happens from the other side. So you are dropping your right heel to the mat and coming up into spider pose. Very good. Walking our hands over to our right spider pose. Now we are facing the back of the mat. Both hands should be on the big toe side of your right foot. Take your right hand to the pinky toe side and come back into plank. Very nice. We're bending our right leg this time, flipping it over, lifting up our right arm into wild thing. Bring your right arm down to the mat. We are in a plank position. Drop your knees to the mat, separate them, sit back on your heels in Balasana. And breathe. Turning up. I hear it's a bit unruly all the time. I do apologize. We're supposed to be all covered up with this hat today, but we see how that worked out. Take your feet, fishtail them around so that they are facing the side of the mat. Take your broom and you could maybe put it by your feet and stretch for the broom or just take the broom when we're coming down for a forward fold. I like to put the broom behind my feet and maybe pull me a little bit. back up, bending your legs at the knees. We'll take the broom behind our legs, coming down nice and slow into a reclined position. As we bring our feet up to the sky, the broom can help. Nice massage. Bring the broom down, leaving your feet up. Your arms can come up to the sky, your hands, and just shake out. Wiggle and jiggle, all that wickedness that happened with the Salem witch trials, all this frenzy, hysteria, let it go, get it out, get it out, get it out. And stop. Bending your legs at the knee, give yourselves a nice hug. Extend your left leg out straight to the side of the mat, the right leg out, your palms down by your hips. Palms facing up to the sky. We're coming into Shavasana. Take a nice inhale and exhale.
deep in your breath. Take your feet in your hands. Begin to wiggle your toes, your fingers. Bring one knee up at a time to your chest. Maybe you can straighten your legs up. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Not so much of a frenzy this time. Bending both legs at the knee. Come to either side of the mat. With, make yourself our wake. Find yourself back up into Sukhasana cross-legged position. And put your palms together, heart center. I hope you had as much fun as I did at Halloween witch yoga. Ask your kids to do it. They may like it. It's really fun using different props. And thank you for joining Amazing Trails Yoga here at Salem, Massachusetts. And please subscribe to the channel so we can communicate. I can see what you like, what you might not like, anything, anything, any concerns, any wishes, any desires. And have a beautiful Halloween and a beautiful, beautiful day. Namaste.